Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Dustin, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at this Portkeys P6. Now, if you don't know, this is the Portkeys P6 5 inch monitor display. It actually took me quite a while to pick this up from Amazon uh, as it was being sold out pretty constantly. You may have seen my previous review on the H87, which is also an amazing monitor. Uh, however, it is a little bit larger than I need for my workflow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this and see what comes inside the box as well as all the cool features that come along with this. So the first thing you'll notice inside the box is this cool little port keys case, which I think is a major plus because this thing is pretty durable. I really appreciate the fact that they included this because finding something that is this size for this particular monitor is not going to be an easy task. Micro HDMI and a regular HDMI. Also included is the Allen keys for the adapter mount. We have our mount with our quarter mount. Also included is this cool handy dandy little manual, which in most cases might be useful, but in my opinion, the actual monitor itself should be pretty self-explanatory, just like the HH7. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. As you can see, it has these four locking points, one here, 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 and here. And I really appreciate that because it's extra secure. Also included inside is this sun blocker. You want to note also that on these sides here, this is a rubber casing surrounding it, which is nice because this little monitor here is very tiny and very light. So it definitely feels more secure and more protected for long-term use. Some of the first things you'll notice on this is that you have your four function buttons, just like on the HH7, as well as the on and off. Then you have your exit, your minus plus, and your menu button. On the bottom, you have your DC adapter, as well as your USB and your mounting points on the bottom and on the right side of the monitor. On the left side, you'll see the HDMI in, HDMI out, and an external audio. And this is pretty good just so that you can have a headphone connected to it while you're listening to your audio. In my opinion, that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and remove this plastic. On the back, you'll see it has two connecting points for the battery. This one is for the NPF, and this is for the LPE6 Canon batteries. The NPF are the Sony batteries, which also connect. The one I'm using today is a pretty heavy duty and pretty standard NPF battery. I gotta say, it works pretty perfect. Now, considering the fact that we added this huge battery, the monitor itself only weighs about 0.3 pounds. Uh, which is, in my opinion, a lot less than you would expect from any monitor, considering how big and how heavy the HH7 is. We can compare the two here. Now I did want to inform you about a couple of the features that are included with this device. Uh, it's fairly exciting for me just because this thing is so compact and so perfect for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K setup that it really gives me the ability to do exactly what I need to do on my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and it's perfectly paired for that device. This is an 8-bit 1080p display. The brightness on it is 500 nits and a contrast of 1000 to 1. Also keep in mind that this one is not exactly the brightest monitor on the market, but for the size and price point, it is to be expected. It really isn't that much of an issue because it comes with this little sun hood and that definitely helps with outdoor shooting in the sunlight. The H7 itself is a 1200 nit display and doesn't really require the sun hood and is able to be lit outside with no problem. It is also a lot more expensive and that is the reason. You'll notice that it does have these quarter mounting points and as you'll see when you flip the device it automatically flips for you. So you don't have to set up that function key which I had a big issue with the HH7 to automatically flip that whenever I'm doing selfie mode. This is important for a lot of us YouTubers and other self-recording filmmakers because we're not able to see ourselves when we're recording and flipping that device uh, can be cumbersome and time consuming in order to switch it over in such a fast work pace manner. Now I won't go into too much detail regarding the menu settings but I do want to go through a little quick display of what exactly is in there and some of the cool features that you have inside. So if you click the menu button on the top you can browse through these extra settings in here and use the menu as your selection button. So for guides you can go in to select that and you can adjust these settings here. In video config we can go there and select these settings. In system config, you can do the same. 
You can also adjust your OSD language, which is your on-screen display language, as well as the way in which it displays. And in my opinion, one of the most important features about this and one of the biggest things about this one and the HH7 is that you have the ability to add your own LUT configuration. As you can see here, you're able to navigate to the USB and load it up directly from USB to be able to add your LUTs to your video. This is important because it allows you to have a real-time view of what your scene is going to look like after color grading. This is important because a lot of times the way the log looks can sometimes jeopardize the way that you do your white balance as well as your light. So by having that and being able to add those LUTs inside will definitely give you an upper hand at doing better at your video cinematography. You also have your function set up which you can set up for these buttons up top, four buttons that I showed you previously. And then you have your firmware option where you can either check your version or update your version of firmware. Now let's go ahead and take a look how this looks on the camera and see exactly how good it works with it. Today we're going to be testing it on the Canon EOS R. Now keep in mind this camera already has a flip out screen, but since I'm recording on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K here, we're going to be using this for test. We're going to go ahead and mount it on here, onto the top, tighten it down, and if it's still loose, you can pull the Allen wrench out of the bag that came with it and adjust it. As you can see, you have full tilt capabilities <laughs> if you're not using the big MPF battery like I am here. However, it's not that big of an issue because you get your fully horizontal as well as a vertical setup. You can tighten it to adjust the way in which it spins and how fast, and then you can flip it if you like. And as you can see, the flip is perfect. So some key things to talk about with this monitor. Uh, one of my favorite things about this monitor is the fact that you have all these extra capabilities built in. Let's go ahead and test it out by plugging in the HDMI to see exactly how it looks on the camera. As you can see here, we have our mini HDMI as well as our regular HDMI cable connected. Something to note, the monitor itself is actually pretty quick and is really good at picking up dark signals. My favorite thing about it is how accurate and consistent it is with recording speed and motion. Some of the issues that I found in the past with other cameras and other monitors is that Whenever they're synchronizing, their syncs are a little bit too slow or off. And this can sometimes cause delays or issues in your pacing. The best thing about it as well is that it also goes along with your camera. So whenever your camera goes to sleep, your monitor goes to sleep. And I would definitely be using this more than any of the other monitors that I have in my arsenal. Mainly because it has the automatic flip capability where I can use it as a selfie camera for my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. This monitor itself for $169 is 100% worth the price and it's pretty much hard to find anything similar to or has as many features in the same price point. Well guys, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome. Peace.